Are you going to dedicate your Edinburgh show to me? Yes. I think that's what you should do because you yeah. didn't bring me a gift. The gift, gift, the gift is me. You've got a really high opinion of yourself. <laughs> I want a grapes, babe. Okay. What you're saying? I'm worse than grapes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Have you ever been in hospital? Yes, I have. When were you in hospital? Uh, the last time was when I had my ear operations. Yeah. I also broke my foot once. And before that, uh, when I had a testicular torsion. I knew that asking people about hospital stays would get really juicy information. Yeah. How did you get a testicular torsion? I was 12 years old. No, 13. That is the worst thing to happen to a 13-year-old boy. I know. And I was playing cricket in the um, during break time. I went down to... Um, like when you're in a wicket keeping position I don't know if you watch cricket but the wicket keeper kind of crouches down right so I crouched down I know down. nothing about cricket I, I crouched down and I just couldn't get back up again and I felt did like did you what because your testicles had stuck to the floor no no I felt like my leg and my left bollock were just frozen right and I couldn't move and I started crying because I didn't understand what the hell was going on the whole classroom can see me just grabbing onto my bollock just crying and they're all laughing. I'm on the floor like a beetle on my back with my legs kind of arched up because we're like, I don't know what's going on. My left bollock is broken. But nothing had happened. I hadn't been hit or anything. What did you think? Did you think that was just puberty starting? I didn't know what it was. I was like, maybe this is like, how like... Maybe this is... Yeah, man. Yeah, this is how semen forms. I don't know. Like, and then I, I um, went to hospital and they said it was a testicular torsion. I didn't know what it meant. And they explained that my sperm duct kind of wrapped around itself and tied into a knot like the kind of knot you get in a shoelace but in your ball in my ball and um, I've never told anyone this by the way they just said right we're going to have to monitor it because if it we're worried about the circulation and if it doesn't you nearly lost it yeah they said if it doesn't we're going to have to cut it off and I was just and here's, the, here's what was funny it was the first time I got an erection because what had happened is I was massaging my testicle to try and make it unwrap yeah and I was getting friction on my arm on the top of my arm and suddenly my penis just like I was like oh my god I've got an erection the nurse came and she kind of went to check and she saw that I was massaging my ball and had an erection she was like oh puberty I was like <laughs> oh puberty yeah. oh it's such a beautiful time <laughs> She said, staring at a 12-year-old you, massaging his penis. Yeah. Were you spotty at the time? I bet you were no, spotty as a 12-year-old. No, I wasn't. No. I always had this beautiful skin look. I can see it now. Somehow, miraculously, about five minutes before I was due to go into the theatre, perfect, unwrapped. Unraveled. <laughs> wow. And that was your, that was Ishan's first, first hospital stay, I was going to say. Hospital <laughs> stay. Well, this was my first hospital stay. I think yours sounds more fun. Because mine, there were no erections. Chemo. So, uh, you're here to entertain me while I do chemo. Uh, I've kept you company for an hour and a half. Do a dance or something. What's your party trick? My party trick? Yeah. I don't really have a party trick, because I don't... Getting invited to parties. It, I think it's being able to spiral your ball up into your body, isn't Bo it? Yeah. Do it again! Right. You're in the right place. <laughs> you can't see, but, but... It's it's quite a trick, eh? It's like a yes, Christmas I've been sat, tree ball. I've been sat here with no, no trousers on. <laughs> and that's allowed in a hospital. Yeah, it is. It's like, oh. It's the one place that Ishan can come to practice his public nudity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well... That was Chemo is Boring with myself, Sarah Mills, and my guest, Ishan Akbar, and my sidekick, The Drip, Chemotherapy, which is nearly done. Hurrah! Bye for now. Bye.